Hi everybody, this is Sharon Mansfield at the Tin Thimble and I've got kind of a fun project today. I was curious about alum mordanted pieces. Alum, as you know, always mordants gold or yellow, which is beautiful, I love it, but we can only have so much gold or yellow. So how can we change the color of the leaf itself? Well, we can put it in a copper dye bath, this is silk, uh, and the background turns this gorgeous robin egg blue and the leaf turned more gold than these. This is linen, this is wool. But let's just try brushing on a little bit of copper water and uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what we get. Copper water is amazing. Very poisonous though. Make sure you wear your gloves and keep it away from your kids and your pets. Let's see what this is gonna do. It's gonna change a little as it dries too. So don't get too close to the edge. It wants to run out, which can be a little bit of a problem. Oh yeah, it's turning pretty green. I like it, much more green. And I'm just using a tiny little brush. You guys can, just like I said, don't get too crazy on those edges because it will run out. Oh, I think that's pretty. That made a big difference. Definitely took the yellow away. This is another one of those uh, fun magic things. <laughs> Who knew? Now, you can rinse this when it dries after a couple days. It won't it won't leave, it's there, it's permanent. Uh, you can put it in some, you can simmer it for a while, but then all this bleeds out. This piece was simmered just in pure copper water to get this silk background. So this is a silk piece. Uh, it was put into a copper after bath after the leaf had imprinted and simmered for maybe 20 minutes. Uh, but still, let's see if we can change the color even of the dark gold, even though I like it. I'm just curious. I want to see. This one's probably going to have to dry a little bit before we can tell, though. Might just make it darker. But I was so curious to see what the copper water would do. Might just make it brown. I don't know. It was an experiment, which is so fun. As you guys know, it's what it's all about. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's how we learn what works and what doesn't. Now you could try uh, your iron water too. It'll darken things. It doesn't, it's not as impressive as the copper water, but still, if something's a little, uh, maybe your imprint didn't turn out as sharp or as dark as you wanted, try a little bit of iron water too. Copper water is my favorite though, probably just because I love the color. Oh, definitely darkening it up. Hmm. Fun. Now this is our wool piece. Again, fig leaf. Alan Mortented. Let's see what this is going to do. Of course, yellow and blue make green. So kind of what we might expect, um, except that the richness really comes out, I think. I have even done this on pieces I did years ago that I wasn't happy with, the imprint. It wasn't very strong, and it just took care of that and just brought it out. So that was kind of fun. I never throw away anything. If I think it didn't work, give it some time, and you might learn something new that you can go back then and add to it. Oh, look, now it's definitely changed it a little bit, but not as much as that linen. I think the linen is the most obvious. You can go back and do another another uh, layer too. 
and these were all soaked in water for a couple hours to make sure. Water, you need to do that for the dye to distribute evenly. You can see here that the leaf actually bled a little bit of the green. That's not the copper water, that's just from the leaf itself during the process. Yeah, I think I'd come back and do a second, a second coat. Don't be afraid to let your copper water stay a long time in your, in your glass jar and get stronger. I have not had any experience of, with it hurting the fabric at all. I hope you enjoyed that. I did. That was fun. And I like the results. I think the linen one definitely is the is the ticket. It did the best. But still, these haven't dried, so got to wait till tomorrow to see what they look like. And uh, we're going to be doing more of these little things just to make it more interesting. Um, so stay tuned. <laughs> and thank you very much for being interested. And I hope you do this. I hope you have fun with it. So goodbye.